First of all, uh, nice crowd. Good to see you all. Wonderful. Good to see you here in church offering up this Thanksgiving prayer. That's what the Eucharist means. The Eucharistia is the Greek word for Thanksgiving. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to tell a story. He had a, uh, one of the churches I was at, I can't remember which one, uh, I would uh, try different things. One of the things that I tried is I took a handheld microphone and I would go down a much smaller community. I would stand in the middle and say, does anybody want to come up and say thanks be to God for anything in their life? Now, I had the microphone, and I wouldn't let anybody else hold the microphone because they would go on even further than I would. And so I had the microphone, and there was an on-off switch on the microphone so I could turn them on or off. So a couple of people came up, and then this one young woman came up. She probably was a junior, maybe a senior in high school, she was obviously Hispanic, and uh, she came up, and I held the microphone, and she grabbed onto me, and I says, you all set? And she said, I think so. And she started, and she couldn't get it out. She just, nothing came out. And I said to her in my broken Spanish, Spanish is okay. Espanol está bien. I think that's what that means. <laughs> and she looked up at me and smiled and started talking in Spanish. She talked about seven words in Spanish and then flowed right back into English. And I don't really think that she saw herself doing this at all, that she had to kind of get started in something that was very comfortable with her in Spanish, because that's what she, that was her first language. But as soon as she started talking and got comfortable, she was able to speak to all of us there in English. That's the story. The story, I think, fits very well for all of us. We are here because we have come to understand the goodness of God in our lives. We come here because this is what we do as Christians and as Catholic. We come to the Eucharistic prayer and we pause for a moment in our life and we say thank you. Thank you for many, many things, many good things, many tough things. We say thank you. Sometimes there are so many things to say thank you for, we can't even count them. And sometimes there's almost none at all. And we have to say thank you there also. I think today we say thank you for two big reasons as we come to church. One is thank you for the great gift that Jesus brings us, the gift of forgiveness. He offers us this great good gift of himself to bring us forgiveness, something that we we can't just take and say, hey, this forgiveness is just for me. I got it too bad on you. We have to share the forgiveness. And the second thing is what Jesus taught us is that somehow, somehow, I don't know how, but somehow we are God's children. We are God's family. Because when they asked him, teach us to pray, you know what he said? When you pray, say, 
our Father. And that's what we do. We know that we are forgiven, and we know that we are part of God's family here and hereafter and forever. And all of us say together, Amen. 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 Amen.